YouTube, this is Jeff with Jeff's Toy Reviews, and today I am reviewing Transform Mission Powertrain, or Not Masterpiece, Motor Master. Transform Mission um, is also, I believe, part of Generation Toys, and they have put together um, their version of the Stunticons. This is their fourth installment, and this is Powertrain, and he is amazing and awesome, and you can tell by the size of this box, this box is huge. Um... Well, I don't know if it's huge, but it's pretty big compared to some of the others. Like, here is, bam, the original Wild Rider. There you go. Give you an idea. I will be doing some comparisons, kind of give you a heads up now. I'll be doing some comparisons throughout, mostly with um, the other transformation figures. I do have Masterpiece Prime out. And at the end, I will do some um, comparisons of... I have fans projects, um, Stunticons, and I do have a G2 version of Menasaur, or the Combiner Wars uh, Menasaur, the Stunticons, but it's the G2 colors. I really don't use them that much because I'm not a big fan of the colors, but for size comparison and Motor Master comparisons, I will have them out so you can take a look. And um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging really quick. Very nice product shot here and some nice wasted apocalyptic buildings in the back the it does wrap all the way around and i do love this cab it's really cool and then the bottom well it's upside down but it just says tfm uh made in china a bunch of warnings and stuff um nothing on the top nothing on the sides and nothing on that side either and that is it for the packaging so hold on just a moment i'm gonna put that down here for a second and i am going to bring up motor master or powertrain i'm just gonna call him well i will refer to him as both throughout the video so um hope you don't mind this guy is just the truck mode itself is really amazing um, the details are really nice he does have his nice smokestacks rubber wheels which is always a plus um very you know just detailed a lot of paneling but you know that's what you kind of expect for something like this because of what he does change into um and since he does have all the parts in here to form uh, their havoc or uh not menasaur you know it's all in here this it's really cool i love how they did the breakdown um he does have articulation with the cap really nice he can roll back and forth. And let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the cab. He's got some nice uh, purple translucent windows. Translucent windows here on the sides. His, his mirrors are painted in, um, which is really nice. Smoke stacks are painted silver. Gas tank is silver. Wheels painted silver. Rubber tires, as noted. Um, you know, really, really nice. And... It's my, there we go, oh, no, this wheel just doesn't want to, in the back, doesn't want to roll for some reason. Here is the back of the truck. He does have, oops, let me go ahead and adjust the camera. He does have a nice bumper back here, painted silver with some lights, nice detailing of the lock in the back, which I thought was kind of cool. And, you know, there he is. He is Motormaster. I mean, really nice looking truck. So... His, um, as you can tell, he is one solid piece. It, um, this does not collapse. You cannot remove this that I have found a way to do so, uh, so far. You never know. Maybe I'll find something and I'll be able to remove it later. Um, I know I can remove and just have the truck cabbie on because it's weird that way. And I'll explain that all later, but I can do that. But that's not exactly what we're trying to do here. So, Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to bring out Masterpiece Prime. Here is MP10. And come on. I lost it. I lost my connection. Mm. 
I'm going to bring the camera back a little bit. So as you can see, they are roughly the same size. He does have, it's a little smaller here at the lights, but not that much. He does have the extra cabin space up top. So, you know, um, width wise, they're just about the same. Um, trailer, this uh, trailer for Prime is longer. I'll go ahead and I'll show that here. Motor master uh, powertrain off to the side. And then have these guys nose to nose. Or, you know, lined up nose to nose. Lined up at the nose. And their trailers line up. But as you can tell back here, you'll see that it's about an inch or so longer. Not much. About an inch and a half longer um, better look is if I go ahead and raise this up and just kind of take that and as you can see I mean it's it's a bit longer not much though uh, but I really like the fact that the cab is I mean they're roughly the same size Bring this back down. I mean, that's cool. The cabs are roughly the same size. Prime's cab is just a little a hair longer. Not by much, but actually, um, barely. I mean, barely, 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 barely. Actually, not at all. They line up perfectly. So, that gives you that. Now powertrain and his boys here is their not wild rider their not breakdown from transformation and their not drag strip and they look i think they look really good together i think they scale um, you know, they're a little bit bigger than what they should be, but that's always, especially the, the dragster, um, it's always been that way, um, when it comes to transformation, even masterpiece, I think the, the, the cars are just a little too big, but you know what? I think these look really good together. They, I'm not going to have them in this mode anyway, but in all aesthetics wise, this looks really cool, really cool for me. So bring him out. Bring him down and let's get rid of this guy. He does come with just an instruction booklet, by the way. I forgot to, to show you that. So he does come with instructions. Instructions are very detailed pictures, but there are a couple of things that they do skip in the instructions that I just found really weird. I don't think they meant to, but they're steps. And if you don't catch yourself, then you're going to be trying to fix that. And um, yeah, so... I'm going to go ahead, get in a little closer. We're going to raise the camera up and I'm going to start the transformation here of powertrain. And he's so huge. That's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and start the transformation and we'll get it underway. All right. So sorry about the little cut there. Um, so to get this guy transformed into robot mode, we're going to go ahead and there's a tab here and or the little yeah there's a little tab there. there's a tab or a lock here a lock there and then another lock another lock here and these all just kind of separate once you unlock this this just like completely comes off so this is the back half oh and i dropped in um the rear tires there so that can just go off to the side for right now and I'll just get that completely off camera. I'm going to need the space. This guy is something else. So not a great look, but it's a look. So you're going to go ahead and fold this up. Fold that up. And going to turn around here. You're going to start breaking. Well, not breaking, but you're going to start separating a few tabs. Um, okay, these are going to come down. You actually can take this, wrap that around, and just a 
fold that back down and then there's a tab here and a slot there and this is just gonna like that do the same thing over on this side locks that in extend these out and then you're going to go ahead and bring those bring these just out for some room and up here you're going to bring this piece down out and you can put that all the way down there is there is power powertrain is face me and then their faux matrix and then you're going to straighten that out and these is really nice tight ratchets here so I'm gonna, hold on here I'm gonna bring up the camera a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing here okay so got that down down just want that out of the way I'm going to lift this up and then you're going to bring this around like so and just go ahead and bring out like that oh i can't believe i just did that well it is what it is and this is just really for clearance and get this out just part of his thing come here and you can just fold I'm gonna untab here and then this is just gonna fold down like so and then you have this piece open here bring out his fist keep that there because you have a tab and a slot and that makes sure that just lines up and then now it's just all nice and tight and then boom one arm is done this piece just stays like that so um, and then you're going to do the same here and you're going to come around to the back to the back here and you're going to separate that out get the clearance you need and then pull that down and then that'll allow you to bend the arm and then just make sure this is down and then he can do that and now he has his arms now you take this piece up here and this will just wrap around and this will just completely encase his chest and form his chest really cool like Go to the back and you're going to bring these up and around. You're going to take Menosaur's crotch piece, bring that down. You're going to take this piece and bring that down. Go ahead and push this forward. You'll see there's two, two tiny tabs here and there's two slots up there. Just push that forward. They're not going to get stuck into place or anything. Take Menosaur's head or um, Havoc's head and you're just going to do that and then this is going to you'll see this slot here this tab here and that's just going to slot okay how come it's not going now something happened hold on here i'm not sure why this isn't going That was weird. I had to fiddle with it, but now it went. It doesn't tab in very secure on mine. Again, I have a feeling that a lot of this figure in this set is going to be your your mileage it may vary. It depends on who you get, what you get. And then you're going to take this. Now, this is very interesting. I was watching uh, Skullface, and he basically said, right is right, left is wrong. So you want to do right close first. And then you're going to come up and do this. Oh, no, you're not. See, I get that wrong. It's right, left, and then you're going to bring this all the way up. And then this is going to kind of help lock that into place. I'm not sure why this isn't, it's not working for me right now. There it is. My bad. This goes up. It does go right down right. And then you take this piece and you can just bring that up and that'll just sit on his back. 
It's supposed to sit on his back. Hold on here. All right. Come back here, turn him around. You're going to collapse these pieces down and like so. You just kind of fold in on each other like that. So if you want to, you can kind of set them up if you want. Your profile, they'll look like that. They'll just collapse on themselves. I'm not sure why this isn't staying now, but it should all just, it doesn't tab in very well. And it has to do with that head. I'll have to mess with it some more. So now we're going to come down here and his legs. You're going to bring his legs apart. You're going to take his wheels and bring them down and they're going to tab they're going to there's a tab right here slot right here and then that's going to go right into that and then right into that and then i forgot to do this bring this forward forward so now he has his hip skirts yay hip skirts okay and you're going to collapse the pipes. And you're going to bring this piece up. Come on. Oh, got to take that down. And that'll allow this piece to be free. And you're going to collapse here. And this is, there's a tab right here, slot right here like so and then I'm going to do that and that is actually just going to let this be free and you can do this and then bring this piece around and you're going to come up and then this is going to fold in come on where is it there's like a sweet spot you got to get there you go folds in like that and it'll fill out the window get some parts in the back and then this will come up like so and then as soon as this lines up, you're just going to that bigger peg and small peg right into that like that. Bring this down and then this here will snap right onto that. Just like so. And then you just take this piece, fold that back around, fill in the back of the leg. Take the front of the, the peg, take the grill. And then you're going to basically take this whole piece here and then you're going to fold the grill down like that and then you're going to bring forward like so and then you're going to take this piece and there's a little piece that comes up and see these two holes here those are going to go right into there give the, the heel spur just like that and then you're going to take the tire it's going to unpeg there's a couple of peg holes there, pegs on the back, and then that's just going to go up like that. And now you have one foot. One leg is done. You're going to take the other um, leg. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Bring this down. Take this piece up. Fold this down and around. And then take this piece up. And you can just snap that into place as soon as you're ready. As soon as you think you have it. Remove this piece here. And then you're going to take this and you're going to fold it all the way. Come on. This always kind of hinders for some reason. And I'm not sure if it's me, if it's the toy. Maybe it's me and the toy. But eventually you just got to work it in there. There's even the instructions aren't very good about it. like a couple of screws in there that are just in the way there's not enough clearance and they just get caught up on those screws that are in there and then just go ahead and you're going to take this piece out which I forgot to do and this will allow you to bring it forward and then collapse these two pieces I do this by feel most of the time now um, but you can see it tabs in pretty good there just bring this piece around here 
this is already out so you're going to just bring this piece down fold down like so and then like that i'm going to take this pop this piece out i really like the engineering that they did for this guy just really incredible and like that and And there he is. I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit here so you can take a look at what we're looking at. And there is Powertrain, a.k.a. Motormaster, ready for battle. And you know what? The transformation is not that bad considering how big this guy is. Um, he is very solid. He's not heavy. He's all plastic, just like the rest of them. There's no die cast in this guy as far as I know. Uh, which is really amazing um, considering there's all kinds of spots that they could have put die cast in this figure and they just didn't. But I really en enjoy the transformation of this figure. I think he looks great. Um, go ahead and bring in the head. So you take a look at the head. Really nice head sculpt. There you go. It's got the nice uh, rocket launchers. They're painted red. The missile tips are painted red. Really nice. Um, it is on a swivel, not a ball joint, but it is on a swivel, and he can do a full 360. And then, as before, you can see their faux matrix, and then you know, that's there. Um, arms can do a full 360 if you like. You can bring this piece out, and he can extend his shoulders out, or you can extend his shoulders out that way. He does have a bicep swivel, um, and he does have... Uh, an elbow bend just over 90 degrees. It's not a full um, full double jointed elbow or not. He can kick out. Nice sturdy ratchets. Oop, that wasn't supposed to happen because that's not part of this transformation yet. Those untabbed for some reason. Um, he can kick back. Those are on a soft ratchet but sturdy. Sturdy and he does have a knee bend that's hindered by these wheels here in the back. And then he does have a um, ankle articulation, which is pretty nice. And he does, you know, it is on a full rocker and swivel. So he can do a lot of posing with his feet. And it looks really good. Get his, try to get his feet back to being posed here and then bring this piece back up. You can like have these dangle off the back if you like, but you'll still see these up. You can do that too if you like, which is fine. That doesn't bother me. Um, but there they are. Now for weapons. Um, this guy has a kind of a neat thing to get his weapons. You, well, you don't have to, but you can take the trailer apart. I will do size comparisons pretty soon. I'm just going to get the, ta the trailer taken apart. So I'm going to put this guy or the other half of the trailer. I'm going to put him off to the side and bring this out. And I'm going to lower the camera because you know what? It's just the way I'm rolling right now. Okay. So the back half of the camera is pretty cool. You can take this piece here and flip that up this whole piece comes by and that's his little um oh my god i forgot the name of the character someone please comment the name of the um of motor master's little uh, his chest piece that the little car chest piece that he has because here he is and you can have him rolling around if you want um he actually this guy actually does become his shield which in a pretty cool way actually so we're going to take this piece up like so and we're going to take this tab here and rotate that out and rotate and these are really tight and you're just going to rotate this in and then you're going to bring this out and then he will i'll show you how this becomes his shield well i can show you now actually so oh i stopped at articulation let me do articulation really quick um my camera oh i did articulation what i'm talking about but i forgot to do the hands 
So his hands are just like all Masterpiece figures. He, um, he does have the individual finger, um, just like the other Masterpiece fingers, or, I mean hands. But So what you can do is you can take uh, this guy here and... Um, Point this, I believe. Hold on, how are we? Boom, 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 boom. Ah, yes. Like so. And then, and then this just wraps around. And this just becomes a shield around. There's a way. How come this isn't tabbing in now? Mm. Sorry. Sorry about the movements of the camera. My tripod is very unsteady. And this can act as a shield in this manner. You have to have his hand pointing down. Um, And he normally holds it, oh, because the arm's not straight. I'll have to, there's something I'm missing. It's not this, this is here. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. And I am actually gonna have to pause this review right now I'll leave everything the way it is. We'll finish the trailer. I'll show you his accessories and everything else. My camera is dying. So I need to charge my phone because I do everything from my phone. And I'm just going to leave him like this. All right. Be back in a bit. All right. We're back. Sorry about the little technical glitch there. Um, I know it's just going to be a quick jump for you. But I did mention in my video I lost batteries. Um, my battery just, my phone just died. Um, and... That's all there is to it. So I was going to just jump into the trailer and start getting the transformation done, but I'm going to hold off for just a second because I do want to do something else. I want to do a couple more comparisons here. Actually, I want to do a couple comparisons. Excuse me. So I was going to wait and put them at the end, but, you know, as you can see, he is just perfectly sized with Masterpiece uh, Prime MP10. And now this is the, the one that I was really excited about. This is the, um, sorry, that if you heard that, that is my dog sneezing in the background. Um, this is the Generations Toy um, Op X or their IDW Prime. And um, they're basically in the same line, um, as it were. I will show pictures of him in truck mode with um, Powertrain at the end um, of this video. But as of right now, I, I actually completely forgot to um, have him out for, for it. And I like how they scale together. Um, they look really good. I mean, just like MP10, but they're from the same type universe. So I think he looks really good. Here he is with um, Fans Projects Diesel. And as you can see, Diesel is really small, you know, compared to him. I mean, this is the size of a Voyager you know, leader class masterpiece type thing. So, but he still looks pretty good. And here he is with um, Combiner Wars, G2 colored um, motor master. And, you know, give you an idea of some more scale. So, okay. Now that that's done, he's out of the way. I can keep him in the back and let's get back to what we were doing. This does convert into a shield. That is the shield mode here. You just have to, get this tabbed into his hand he does have just like all the other masterpiece figures up there um, even though he's not masterpiece thumbs on a ball joint he does have the slot in his hand three fingers are together he does have a single finger that is just a hook type thing it's not like you know it doesn't it doesn't have a knuckle joint it's just a bent finger but that's okay um, but there's some pretty cool stuff with this guy still still to be seen so to take apart the trailer, first we need the trailer. I'm going to lower the camera now, just a little bit. I'm going to come here on the bottom and we're going to take the gun out. There's these four pegs, right? Or these four slots here, four pegs on the bottom of the gun. Now, for um, 
for motor master's weapon you just bring this tab down here and fold um, the grip or the uh, or havoc or menasaur's grip down and um, this just tabs into his hand just like all other um, masterpiece type figures and it's a really I think it's a solid connection pretty solid like his hands open because I was hitting it so hard and it still hasn't fallen out yet so pretty cool and then as you can see there's more to do so we're going to take this thing apart lift this up and we're going to lift oh hold it going the wrong way here so we're going to bring this up There is a specific order for this, and I actually forgot what it is, so I'm going out of order. Hope y'all don't mind, and I'm sure someone's gonna comment saying, I'm doing it wrong, I'm doing it wrong, but that's okay. It is, you take, I remembered, you take this piece here, you flip up, this piece here. It took me a minute, I apologize. And then you're going to fold these down like so. Go ahead and keep that down like this. Bring that front and center. And you just take this piece out and then you take this piece out. And you take these pieces you're going to pull apart. And this, you know, this part's really Oh, excuse me. Oof, that was a little bit more. That was harder than it looked. Um, as everything goes flying, they're um, tapped together with these um, like really good like locks. This is what's used with the um, believe. Well, these are used for this, but um, for these to keep together. But they're also they have a few more of these uh, tabs and um, slots designed for when he's actually in his um, combined mode too so so we're gonna take that we're gonna take these two tabs that we had here we're gonna fold them all the way over we're gonna fold these two pieces in like so so there we go we have the start of the base we can leave the sword there um, you can take the sword out if you like and you can just split it here and split the hilt down the middle and you can have it like this and he can hold it if you want him to so you can have a big giant sword i'm going to bring the camera up so you can see that sorry about that so you can have a big giant sword and we're going to go back down to the base because we're looking at the base right and then you're going to take this piece here you're going to take um this fold this down like so and uh, this you're going to bring around you're going to bring this down turn it around and then you're going to rotate this like so bring that up and then we're going to bring this around like like so and you're going to see this these two holes here are going to tab right into here just they're going to well plug right into there it's not the securest but it works for what it is you're going to bring this piece down like actually that can stay there and then you're going to take these two plugs here and they're going to go into this port here and just like this and then you just kind of angle that down and fill in the base a little bit I'm going to take this sword out of his hand again because I'm going to put this back into the base because it's all part of it. You don't have to make it part of it. I just want it as it is part of it. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. You're going to bring this piece down. You're going to bring this 
like so. And if you try to turn it here, there's a clearance issue. It won't clear because of this here. So just bring it down like so. And then um, and you want this facing inward, this little tab here. And then you just bring this around and then back down. And you're going to plug this back into here just like so and there is the base almost done you're going to take these two pieces and you're going to bring this down like so there's a tab here slot here i'm going to slot that into place and and then that's going to make a cannon and then you can just and then these will tab here and this just has to stay out here like so and then there is a little handle here so if you want to have one of the other characters or even um powertrain hold this guy or you know hold this weapon you can um and that's just like that it's not the securest of plugs um you know but um it is what it is. I doubt any of us are planning on having him in this mode, but in case you do, in case you do. And there you go. Now you can have it like this, and if you don't want him to have a shield, you know, of course you just fold this back out, bring it up. These really are tight, which is good. Bring that piece back down, fold that in. And you can have his little car running around too, like so. So bring the camera back. So there is powertrain. I can't get him completely on thing, but here is his base. You know, it looks really good. There's a lot of nice little gold and purple detailings um, on throughout the base. Um, like the gold here, silver, the gunmetal grays, um, really nice. I mean, I think it's a neat little base for what it's for and you know what it's supposed to do and, um, really, really cool and, um, very happy with the overall, uh, feel of this figure and its accessories. Now I will say this, um, and it's not an, a negative at all. This guy, for what you're paying, well, for what you're paying is a masterpiece scaled um, leader of the Stunticons. He is, he's huge. He's um, all plastic, no die cast, which is kind of odd for such a large figure because normally you get a little die cast, but he's very balanced. He's got great heel spurs. He's um, really cool in the overall aesthetic for what he is and um what he can become the um their uh, transformations stunticon combiner or their race car combiner or whatever you want to call it their combiner havoc or menasaur is really solid in my opinion and i'm going to show you that too but to get that from these figures, and especially to have a base like this guy as the torso and the lower limbs is really, um, really cool. And I'll, I'll show all that um, soon. It'll be in my next video. But I wanted to finish this video of my review just of the figure by himself. And I know I'm talking about the combined mode, so I'm going to go back to the figure himself. The figure himself, he's highly posable. I do like his um, the articulation. It's not as great as a lot of people I'm sure would like. I like all the detailings. Um, I've been a Stunticon fan for a while when they were on the cartoons, but I did not like the toy. I thought they needed more representation than what they got. And so I kind of just backed off of them. And I know some people are going to chastise me for not liking the toys, but I only like two of the figures from the Stunticons, and that was Breakdown and Wild Rider. And I have those as um, their G1. I had the G1 figures of those, and I thought they were awesome. They were incredible figures. And um, I could never get Motormaster. I could never get Dragstrip or Dead End because I just never found them, never was able to get them. 
But at the same time, it's like, well, they're not the cartoon. They're nothing like in the comic books or anything else. And now so much time has gone by and engineering has gotten so much better and, and people are doing such great things um, with the engineering. I am very happy with this set. Transformation so far has put out four solid figures that transform to their car modes, their robot modes, and now this combined mode is just made me completely ecstatic and i shared some pictures on my instagram but i am going to show you excuse me i just kicked this i am going to show you the full um how to put them all together what they're supposed to look like um and i'll do the transformation from this mode to the um to the combined mode havoc um, in my next video but just based on the figure itself if it didn't if it wasn't a combiner is the price worth the the asking price i mean is it worth it i would say it's a little high and that's just being honest um i think it's a little high i did not pay full, full price for this figure um even what i paid i think it sh could have been a little lower if i did not have the combined mode to go with it if it's just the truck and trailer and this is all i got you know i would be like eh, it needs a little more you know something but um, the fact that I do get the combined mode, man, totally worth it. This this is a really nice set. It's a great figure, very solid. Um, even for um, for for something that is parts forming, people don't like parts forming. I don't mind personally, but really cool how they set everything up and did everything. So um, this is part one of the. Uh, transformation powertrain review um, this is just the figure i will do part two um, throughout this week and get him up get that up hopefully this weekend i'm just trying not to make the video 45 minutes long and i think i'm already at 30 something minutes with just this one so um, i do apologize for the length of video i do apologize for the abrupt edit on a few um, few things in this um, i only use my phone as my camera so i appreciate you sticking through the ride i hope I didn't miss anything. Um, if I did, or if you have questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I, I try to answer all my questions, all the questions that are posed to me. I try to comment back, and um, hopefully, I can I can get those comments, um, your questions answered, and maybe I can do a follow up video if that's needed. But I will be doing the havoc video very uh throughout the rest of this week and i'll have it up this weekend so thank you so much for watching thank you for um for subscribing please like this video i know it's a little abrupt and i do apologize i i feel like i did do a little bit of a rush on some parts and if that does not come off great i'm very happy for that but if it does i do apologize thank you so much for watching this great figure this guy's awesome um, and I will be posting more pictures on my Instagram. That's at Just Toy Reviews for Instagram. And um, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I do have a giveaway that's coming up. I will be doing another update for that soon. And um, yeah, so please share this video too. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great day. And you all take care now. Thank you. Bye-bye. I Sorry about that. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, I'm just doing one little add-on um, because I forgot to do probably one of the most important comparisons there are, or there is, excuse me, move this guy back just a little bit here. Um, as you saw in the beginning, I did have him with this team, so why not finish with his team? So here he is with, um, with not drag strip. Put him over here to the side. Looks really good. Here he is with not wild rider. And here he is with not breakdown. So there is the team so far. And this is shaping up to be a wonderful, wonderful set. I cannot wait for the last figure. Um, like I said, um, I am going to be doing the combiner uh, video next. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And we'll talk again soon. Take care, guys. Have a good one. I love this team.